what is going on everybody welcome back to another video in today's video we will be integrating object detection with license plate recognition in order to create an end-to-end -end solution to detect license plate and then extract the text of the license plate number within we will be using yolo version 4 a custom trained model to recognize the regions of interest of license plates within an image and then we will be using OpenCV and Tesseract to go in, pre-process the image, and extract the license plate number from the image itself. The way the pipeline works is YOLO v4 detects the license plate within an image. We then crop the bounded area. We run a bunch of pre-processing techniques on the image, such as we grayscale it, we blow it up for easy to Tesseract to read. We then threshold the image using Otsu's method. We then dilate the image and make the contours easier to find. We then find the contours, sort and filter to get the actual individual letters and numbers of the license plate number, which we then segment, run some more pre-processing on, and then run through Tesseract in order to extract the individual characters. And then we append them all together and we've got the license plate. Boom, goes the dynamite. Let's jump into it and I'll show you how it's done. All right, I'm super excited to bring you guys this tutorial. So we're gonna get right into it. In order to do the license plate recognition and we're gonna use the object detection that I've done in one of my previous videos for license plates. We're gonna combine the two and then you're gonna see it's a pretty cool thing that comes out of it. So the code for this repository or the code for this tutorial I should say can be found in my repository, the AI guys code. YOLO v4 custom functions. You've seen this repository used a couple times. And if you scroll on down, the readme is very in depth. And you go right here, license plate recognition using Tesseract OCR. This is where the explanation and kind of commands to run in order to do the license plate recognition can be found. Um, but first and foremost, I'm just going to do a quick run through of the dependencies and how to get the code onto your local machine. So you're just going to go here, click the code green button. Hit the clipboard icon to copy it over, and then you're just going to open up whatever shell or terminal you use. Go get clone, and then just right click and paste it on in, and you run it. You're going to go ahead and clone the entire code to your local machine. And when it's done, you're just going to go cd yolo v4 custom functions, and now you've got all the code ready to go to run it. So we're going to scroll on down and set up some of the installs and dependencies to get all of the packages and libraries needed to do the object detection and license plate recognition. If you've watched one of my previous videos of this, of this repository, you can skip this part. I recommend using Anaconda. It makes it easier to just do the CUDA and CUDA-N with GPU, but you can also do pip installs as well. So I'm just going to do the TensorFlow GPU for Anaconda route. I've already ran this command right here, conda env create, but if you haven't, I recommend doing this first, and then you're going to go ahead and activate your environment. So I'm just going to go conda activate YOLO v4 dash GPU. And that's going to bring me into my environment that has all the installs ready to go. And now we're going to go ahead and get the pre-trained license plate object detector that I've trained in one of my previous videos. I'll link it up on screen if you want to do your own or if you have your own license plate object detection model that you can use it as well for this. Um, we're just going to go ahead and download mine with this link right here. It's going to bring you to my Google Drive, and you can just go ahead and download the YOLO v4 model. And then we're going to go back to the README. So you should go over to your downloads and copy it over, grab the weights that you just downloaded, and then bring it back to wherever you installed the repository, wherever you cloned it. I did YOLO v4 custom functions in my C repos folder. And then you're going to go into the data folder of the repository and just paste the custom weights there. And then the second thing you have to do is create a text file dot names that can read in the class name of your model. So for my model, uh, I'm going to just open up in uh, VS code. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then Morty in my repository, you'll be for custom functions. And then you're just going to go to data, folder, classes, and then just create a file. Here, I'm going to call it custom.names. If you call it custom.names, the rest of the tutorial will work.
flawlessly. And then on one line only, we're just going to go license plate because that is the only class that this custom model is trained on. So that's the only class that it is able to detect. After you've done your custom.names, you're going to go into the core folder, config.py, and you're just going to change this one line right here from coco.names to custom.names so that it now reads in our custom class instead of the pre-trained um, classes. So now we are good to go. So we head back here. We're going to do one command to actually load in the YOLO v4 darknet style weights, and then it's going to convert it over to TensorFlow because this tutorial uses TensorFlow as the backbone. So we're just going to copy it over, head back to the terminal, and paste it in there, and just run it. And it's going to go ahead and save a TensorFlow model. So if the model successfully converted and been saved over as a TensorFlow, it should look something like this in the terminal. So now we are good to go with the license plate recognition. We've got the object detection to be able to find the license plate. And now we will do the recognition to actually extract the text and get the license plate number that is on the image. So you're going to scroll back on down to license plate recognition using Tesseract OCR. So Tesseract is what we are using for the extraction of the text. It's our optical character recognition engine that we are using. So to actually use Tesseract, you have to download and install the binary files onto your local machine. So it's additional a step that you can't just use PyTesseract. We are using PyTesseract, but it requires you to have Tesseract on your local machine. So I've gone ahead and said that here. Um, if you're going to be on a Mac or a Linux machine, I recommend this article right here. It helps you install. If you're on a Windows, I recommend doing this link right here. And there's a bunch of tutorials uh, if you, these don't work for you. Um, so there's endless opportunities to get it working. Um, so that's what we've done. And I have it already, so we're going to go ahead. So a little quick walkthrough of what I've implemented to do the license plate recognition. The way it works is we get the image. So this is what will happen when you run the command. It's going to print the actual license plate that's found uh, above the detection and above the plate itself. So the way it works is it grabs the YOLO v4 object detection that our trained model has, like this on screen. It grabs the license plate. And what we're doing is we're taking the inside of that bounding box, we're cropping it as a sub-image, and then we're running a bunch of pre-processing steps and then running Tesseract on it. So we take the original image, we crop the bounding box from YOLO v4, and we blow it up um, three times as big because on most license plates, the image, it's a very small subsection of the image, so it's quite small. So we blow it up because Tesseract likes its text to be a certain pixel height in order to be ideal for its uh, extraction. Then we do the pre-processing here, standard pre-processing. We grayscale the image like so and apply a very small Gaussian blur in order to smooth out any noise. And then we actually go ahead and actually threshold the image using Otsu's method. This threshold will um, distinguish the foreground from the background, so it distinguishes the actual t letters and numbers of the license plate as the foreground and turns the background um, black, as you can see in this middle image right here. Then we apply dilation, so we dilate the image using OpenCV. So what that does is it actually just makes the um, white contours a little bit more pronounced, so it blows them up a bit, so that in the next step, when we use OpenCV to find the contours, the rectangular contours on the image, like this, um, it actually has a easier time finding those images, or those contours, I should say. So you can see that we have contours around each letter and number of the license plate, which is perfect, but we also have a couple junk contours uh, like this, that we don't want to have capture and have no meaning to us. So what I've done is written a quick algorithm or a quick couple checks that what it does is it sorts the contours left to right and it does a couple checks and filters out the bad contours. So it checks for area size. The area has to be a certain um, size in order for the detections to be valid. It also does width to height ratios because we're looking for pretty narrow, skinny um, contours or rectangles for the letters and the actual characters of the license plate. 
and it just does a couple things, extra ones like that, where height dealing with height and width in order to filter and get to the actual letters and numbers of the license plate themselves. Once we do that, we then crop the individual images themselves. So we segment the individual characters, and then we actually we actually do a bitwise knot on the image. So it flips the background to white and the text the actual the text letters and numbers to black, which is just a better for Tesseract. It's more better trained on black text and white background. So we do that. And then we do another slight blur before passing it into Tesseract. And then it just does the individual characters and then appends them and squishes them together to get the actual license plate, the full license plate. So it's a lot of work that's being done behind the scenes in this custom function, um, but it gets the job done uh, pretty well. So we'll hop into the code and I'll show you where you can find the actual function itself. So if you go to um, core, this utils.py file and open it up, the very first function here is the actual um, license plate recognition. So as you can see, it does everything I uh, said. So if you want to look through it or you want to play around with some parameters, you can come in here and make it better for your license plate. Because if you check right here, the actual line that does the Tesseract and text extraction, um, I have some config. So that it is configured in a certain way. So it only looks for numbers and uppercase characters on the license plate. And you can set the PSM, which is kind of just the extraction mode of Tesseract. So it's set to eight. And I'll pop up on screen what the different ones mean because for certain uh, use cases, it could differ. You might want to try changing it up. And then OEM is the actual uh, model or neural network that is being used. So I believe I'm using the uh, LSTM model. But we, yet again, you might want to play around if certain things aren't working for you and try it out. Or if you're a different language, you might have to come in here and change the language because I'm just using uh, letters and numbers from the alphanumerical um, system. So yeah, if you're wanting to play around and changing the actual function itself, you can do so in here. And I'll just point out that detect.py is where we call some of the functions. So where we set the flags. So the flag for in the command is dash dash plate. And when that is enabled, it will run the detection uh, itself. So actually, back into utils, if you scroll down, where we draw the license plate on screen is actually in here in this draw bbox function. So inside the draw bbox is where we actually go ahead and draw the plates detected. So we go right here. This is where we actually draw the text for the license plate on screen. So right here, put text plate number, and it just puts it right above the where it found the bounding box. So that's kind of the way I have it implemented. So if we now can go ahead and run it, I can show you guys it working. So we're going to go ahead and grab this command right here. This command should work for you. You do have this image in the repository, so I recommend trying it out. And then you're just going to go in here and paste it in. And that's going to go ahead and run. And as you can see, the dash dash plate flag is added right here. And that's the command line flag that actually enables, like I said, the t license plate recognition. So you're going to want to make sure you have it's going to take a couple seconds to run because it's loading in the TensorFlow model before doing the object detection. And then it should output the image with the license plate red, as well as having the license plate in the console or terminal. It's so when the detection is finished, you should see that the license plate it has found will be displayed in the terminal right here, like I said. And if we just blow this image up, it's saying STA5131E. So if we blow this up, STA5131E. So it has successfully ran the license plate recognition and found the detection. And where it's going to save this image is in right here, the custom functions detections folder. It will save your image for you as detection one. And there's a bunch of different images uh, you can run this on. So I'll show you guys another example. They're all labeled and they're all saved in this folder data, images. There's a bunch of examples here for you guys to uh, play around with. 
So I'll run it on car four and show you that even if the image is slightly skewed, it still can run. So we can see here that the actual car is on a slant, but it's still going to work effectively. So we'll just go here and change it to car4.jpg and go ahead and run the command again. And I will say that it does work on video as well. You can run these commands um, on video. And I show how to do that right here, the command for it. But what I said here in the readme is that for video, Tesseract is very computationally expensive for time complexity. So when you're trying to run it frame by frame, it creates it makes the video almost uh, standstill. Like it's going frame, running the Tesseract, frame, running the Tesseract. So it's extremely slow, and you're not going to get high frames per second. So what I recommend actually doing is using my old custom function, dash dash crop. This will run the object detection um, in almost real time, high frames per second. And you can set it, set it in this custom function to crop every certain amount of frames and save them into that detections folder I showed you. And then you can actually, there's a script inside the code right here called license plate recognizer that you can then just go through and run it on each cropped image um, of the license plates and play around here for actually customizing the function to whatever license plates you're using. But um, out of the box should work. And here we go. We can see KS67 AEA, KS67 AEA. So once again, it has gone ahead and actually done the license plate detection and recognition all at once. So that's kind of all I have for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope maybe you've learned some things um, with this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please smash that like button. It means a lot. And if you want to stay up to date with future content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, a lot of content on the way. So I appreciate that, and have a great day.